All right, a problem's asking us number 25. It says an airplane has an airspeed of 500 kilometers per hour bearing 40, uh, north 45 degrees east. So this is north, this is east. So there's the, the, there's the vector of the airplane, and it is 500 kilometers per hour. So I'm going to write 500 right there, and we'll let that represent one hour. It says find the wind, uh, I'm sorry, the wind velocity. I'm going to use... Uh, create a new uh, axis right here at the end of that. So here's my new axis. Oops, that wasn't very good. There's my north, south, there's my east, west. It says the find the wind velocity, change to green, uh, is 60 kilometers per hour in the direction north 30 degrees west. So I'm going to draw the vector of the wind head to tail so it's north 30 degrees west so that right there is 30 that little angle right in there is 30 degrees whereas this angle on our original one right here is 45 degrees that's 500 feet the 30 it's 60 kilometers per hour so the distance of that vector, assuming one hour is 60, so we've got 500, we've got 60, those two distances, and it wants us to find the resultant vector representing the path of the plane relative to the ground. So we're going to make this resultant vector purple, and it's going to be that one right there roughly. And so we want to find out what that distance is and what the angles and all that kind of stuff are. Let me redraw that one so it's a little bit better. Whoops, that wasn't good. Still not good. All right. So let's take a look at all of our different angles that we have here. All right, so what we have is um, an oblique triangle. And so we're going to use either the law of sines or the law of cosines based upon what we have and you'll notice here that this angle inside right here right there is 60 degrees so that angle gets kind of tight in here is 60 degrees and the angle right here is the same as the angle right here because the transversal the two black horizontal lines that I have there are parallel lines and the red line is a transversal so that's a 45 degree angle which means that total angle right there is 105 degrees so let me pull that triangle out there's my there's the angle that uh, the, the purple line I'll do the color coding here so it's easier to see there's the green line and the red line would look something like that and this angle right here is 105 degrees. This side is 60, and this side is 500. And so the law of cosines was going to allow me to find the length of that purple side, which is the distance that I want to find. And the law of cosines is, if you remember correctly, there's your law of cosines. So we have c squared equals 60 squared plus 500 squared minus 2 times 60 times 500 times the cosine of 105 degrees. And when I solve that, I will get you will get 518.78 kilometers per hour. So that's this right here. 518.78. And then you can use, so that's the answer to what is the ground speed of the plane. Notice it's going faster because the wind is pushing it in the northerly direction, even though it's west. It still is helping it along to a certain extent. And then we can find this angle right here by now using the law of sines, and we get 6.41 degrees. You can see that work down there in the corner. And remember that this that's this angle right here, and so we want to write that 
in um, the form that you've seen in the problem up here. So that would be north uh, 38.59 east. So there are your two answers right there. And that's how you do that problem.